Katrina. And there. Finishing touches on Halloween decorations. Oh, who am I kidding? Every day in Halloween town is Halloween. <laughs> Let me check on my darling pet over here. That's why you're nothing but skeleton and bones. Hmm. Something feels very, very strange. What's happening? Everything here, here in Halloween Town is turning gray. The plant, the walls, the curtain, my arm, what my, my clothes, these are not my clothes. I had on a jumpsuit, where are my clothes? My necklace? This is not my necklace. Okay, don't panic. I need to go down to Town Hall and see what's going on. Hey guys, it's Sahara. Welcome welcome back to the channel. Today we have another Halloween video. I'm going to start off with some wax paper, Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder, some Vaseline, Ben Nye Nose and Scar Wax, and some Graftobian Modeling Wax with these black spider gloves. They're not spider gloves, but I think they're by the brand spider or something like that. And then I'm going to use this spatula. I'm going to be using both Modeling Wax and Nose and Scar Wax. Modeling Wax is really good, but Nose and Scar Wax tends to break apart very, very easily, so that's why I'm using a combination of both. Whenever you guys see me using this wax for any type of prosthetic, I always most likely will go for the modeling wax. So I was like, let me just use the combination of both so I can hurry up and get rid of the nose and scar wax. So what I'm doing is just molding it together. I actually started by putting Vaseline down on the wax paper just to help the wax move around a little bit so it doesn't get stuck to the wax paper. And what I'm doing now is just creating like, you know, a simple cap prosthetic and setting it with powder so it's easy for me to touch. And then I could put these holes in with this little tool that I got. I'm going to be using these ears that I got from Shein as cat ears and spraying them with this Krylon Fusion Matte Black Spray Paint. And then I'm going to be moving on to the actual prosthetic application. And I've already done my brows off camera with the glue and the powder to set them. And then I'm going to be moving on with this Mayron Spirit Gum. Now, this is where I've went all wrong at. I've made the prosthetics way too thick. Because I know that cats' lips, their like upper lip <laughs> situation, it sticks out a little bit further. So I thought that I would make it more round and thicker. I, what I didn't realize is that I was going to make it too heavy. So what I'm going to do is um, scrape some of it off and scrape like half of the prosthetic off on camera. And then have to redo the whole thing, <laughs> which is annoying. But now what I'm doing is just using latex because I felt like the latex was going to stick a little bit better than the spirit gum. For some reason, spirit gum only, spirit gum is very selective. Let's say it that way. It's very selective. It doesn't always want to stick everything. So I think that the latex stuck a little bit better. And then I'm just smoothing it out with Vaseline and also making sure that it goes under my um, top lip as well because cats don't typically have a top lip. They, it, it, I don't know how to explain a cat shape. I mean, can somebody else explain it for me? <laughs> so I'm just going to mold the nose as well. I mean, I literally look like a freaking Dr. Seuss character right now. Like, what is this? And it's uneven. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, I was annoyed because, like I said, I already had the um, prosthetic how I wanted it to look. And then I had to redo this whole thing. So I was, like, not happy with how it was looking at first. But then I'm just going to go over the prosthetic with latex. This is going to seal it in. And look at all of that um, wax that I had left over. So what I did instead of putting it back in the jar is finish building like the bridge of the nose and then connecting it to the brow area as well. And I'm going to seal it with latex as I go. And then like I said, with the rest that I have left, I'm going to build that brow area up as well. And these spatulas do come in handy to help you smooth it out. All you have to do is just keep using Vaseline through the whole thing. And then I'll go in and set that with the um, latex as well. And I'm using the latex from Walmart like I used in the other video. At this part, I'm just letting it dry. And right now, I'm just kind of seeing what I want to do next. So I got these earrings right here from Shein. They are stud, but they are like a cat look. Now, what I had originally planned on doing was taking wax and building it up on my face like I did with this one spider look one time and then I was going to stick these studs inside of that wax so it looks like it's coming from under my skin but I was just so annoyed 
with how this turned out because remember I had already did the prosthetic for the cat and then I had to redo it so at that point I was like forget it I, you know sometimes when you get annoyed you're just done at that point and that's how it was <laughs> I'm going to use the Ben 9 Neutral Set Powder to set the wax in a latex so that it's easy to paint over it. I had already started painting, but then I forgot this step, so I had to go back and just make sure to set everywhere. And then I'm going to go in with this paint, this black paint, black body paint, actually. Let's get the whole title in. The black body paint from Walmart. And using this flat foundation brush from e.l.f., I'm just going to paint all over the face and some of the body as well, just mostly the parts that are going to be shown. And I am using the flat foundation brush because like I said in one of my other videos, using this type of brush I find applies body paint the best so that it's not as streaky. The only thing is, is that when you try to go over it a second time, it starts trying to peel. So you have to be careful with this type of paint. I'm going to go in with the Profusion Black Eyeliner and apply that in the waterline. But with this paint, I'm just painting in sections that I feel are going to be shown even with the outfit that I'm going to be wearing because I'm going to put a cape over it. And then for lashes, I'm going to go in with these Wet n Wild Fantasy Maker Lashes. These are the ones that I wore in my last Halloween video for my witchy look. Then taking this pointy dentist teeth thing, <laughs> I'm going to poke the holes back into the prosthetic for the um, little cat holes where the whiskers go. For the whiskers, I'm going to be using this gray, grayish white wig that I use and just cutting a little strand, applying the spirit gum on the prosthetic, making sure to tap it so it gets a little tacky, and then I'm going to apply this hair as whiskers and then trim off any ex excess that's unnecessarily needed. And then once I've done all that, I went off camera, applied my wig, put the cat ears in. Well, these are not necessarily cat ears because cat ears are usually at the top of your head, but I wanted to just buy these on the side. I mean, everything don't always have to be everything. We in Halloween town, so everything could be out of the ordinary, right? And then for the gloves, I am going to be using these long nailed gloves that I got from Shein. I'm putting my cape on that I've been wearing. The concept behind this is that I wanted cat eye looking jewelry. So when I am a cat, I have the purple necklace and earrings on. And then when I switch to the gray spell, it is a gray moon with a green eyed cat eye on the um, necklace. So that's the um, jewelry switch if you paid attention to that. So moving on to the gray spell part, I'm going to go in with this zombie gray makeup. Now these makeup 98 cent paint things, I've already talked about these. These are a little bit cheaper than the um, big body paint that you can buy for $2.98 at Walmart. So this is a little bit of a downgrade, but it's still got the job done. And like I said, it's best applied with the spatula. As you guys can see, it blends out really, really well with the spatula, not the spatula, but the um, flat foundation brush. And it's not as bad, but you can definitely tell a little bit of a quality change. You just got to make sure to blend it out as much as possible and then set it right away. So I'm just going to blend this down my neck. I'm also going to blend this on my arms and my hand and fingers as well. I'm just not going to blend it inside my hands because I still have to touch everything. And I tell you, for weeks now, I'm probably going to be finding stuff that has paint and everything all over it <laughs> because I was touching everything after I was body painting. So it, mm, it's a mess. And it's exhausting as well, but you got to keep going. <laughs> and then right there, I actually seen my um, backdrop that I use for Halloween, this one right here. It fell, so that's what I was looking at. But anyway, I went ahead and off-camera set this with the Ben Nye powder. Now I'm going in with this Goddess Nim palette by Cara Beauty and just taking some of those gray tones to add a little bit of depth into this gray look with the eyes, the nose, you know, a normal contour eyeshadow routine, but in gray form. I think next year for Halloween, I'm going to buy those black, gray, white, and any other color powders that they sell for Halloween because I know at the Halloween store and in a Halloween section at Walmart they sell those color powders that I think would be better to set with the paint. I feel like it would keep it as pigmented as possible while still setting it without 
um, lightening it or anything like that like this Ben Nye powder can so I definitely think I'm going to do that next year and see is there a difference to help with any patchiness for the wig I'm going in with this gray wig well grayish whitish blondish type of wig I don't know I'm going to go back in with some more of that eyeshadow and apply this darker one on the lips and then apply a little bit under the lips as well for a more pouty look. I mean, why not? And this is the different necklace that I was telling you guys about. So a switch from the purple necklace, the purple cat eye necklace to this green and gray cat eye necklace. I definitely think that, that was a good switch. Shoot, cats don't laugh. That's the problem now. <laughs> Shoot, Katrina. This. Okay, I need to go town to town hall. I need to town to town hall? Wait a minute. <laughs> Halloween town and see what's going on down in city hall. And find out what's going on. Oh. Now I'm the amateur. Look at me.